Hi, this is Gareth Kentish, and today I'd like to show you how effective eBay can be to help promote your online business. Now, some of you may realize that within an eBay listing, you can use HTML, and it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. But let me assure you that that's all you're going to need to know about HTML in order to create great looking eBay listings that will allow your products to stand out amongst your competition. Now what better way to show you than by example. So I'm going to show you a listing that my partner Yvonne and I have put together and it's promoting sexy wear. It's an experiment of ours but you will see perfect examples of how we use HTML to help promote that particular product. So let's go and have a look at it shall we. Okay, so I'm in the listing itself, and the area that I want to show you is the description section. So we'll just go down here, and it's here that you can actually add the HTML. And you'll notice straight away as I go further down into the listing that this listing stands out, mainly because I've put this big red border in with hearts, which I guess is relevant to the dress that's being sold. I've also included a banner along the top which makes the listing look a little bit like a shop. And then, of course, further down, I've got some of these other nice fancy things like the hot buttons running along the top here. You can see them. I've highlighted them in blue. And what's interesting here is I've got my About Me page, something that eBay have actually taken away from us in recent months. So I can still use the About Me page, and it's a great way to promote your online business. And you can see here that I've also got an invitation box inviting my viewers and customers to sign up to my newsletter. And this is ideal for building up your subscriber list. Now, if I go back to the listing itself, you can see I've also got these menu tabs running along the top. And this is a great way to just provide a little bit more information about the product and the payment and the shipping terms. And if I go further into the listing, you can see that I've now put a photo gallery in, which is ideal to make this listing stand out amongst the competition. And if I click on the buttons on the left here, you'll see the large photo appear on the right. Very simple, very effective and requiring next to zero knowledge of HTML and I'll show you how we do that in the next section of this video. Okay so the question is is how did I create this neat looking listing for this product and what I did was use a WYSIWYG HTML editor and I'm going to access that now by just clicking on this tab and you'll see that this is an online HTML editor and you can access it by typing in the address that I'm highlighting there for you. It's actually called the isdntech.com forward slash editor. And this is a great tool to create in particular eBay auction templates. And when you go down the screen, you'll see that you have a working area here, which is a mixture of a WYSIWYG editor and also enable you to write in the HTML. And what I do first is I delete all this techno bubble and I start from scratch. So I'm going to delete that and you'll see now that the editor shows that I've got a blank screen in front of me. So I can start from here. And the first thing I want to do is to build the border. So what do I do from here? Well, I need to get the border code. So I just select the option on the right hand side here. And you'll see here that I've got a borders plus template. So I just click on that. It now allows me to select an appropriate border that I wish to include. And I'm going to select a default border. And in the example, I chose the um, heart. And there it is, hearts galore. And you can see now that I've got that frame ready for my um, listing. I'm happy with the rest of it. And I'm going to grab that HTML code. So I want to make the code here. There it is. I'm going to grab it. Control C to put it into memory. And I'm going back to my WYSIWYG editor, my main WYSIWYG editor here. If you remember, the screen is blank. I'm going to go to my code view and then I'm going to drop that code into the working area. Just get rid of this, start off on. Let's just have a look. Control V. And you should hopefully see that border as shown in the previous screen 
And now I can start doing some work here. And I can now put in some of the descriptions using it as a standard editor. Sexy figure having red dress, for example. And then I can start working on building up that listing. Okay, so what's the next thing I can add to my listing? Well, I could try adding some of these um, buttons, for example. So if I go to my working area, I'm going to add some of these buttons into my listing. So I'll click on my working area. I'll go up to the top here, and I should now be able to see buttons. And I want the quick eBay button, so I just click on that link here. And I'm now going to go down the screen and select the type of buttons that I'm looking for. I'm going to click on this button here. And because it's a red dress that I'm selling, I'm going to make the buttons look appear red. I want to include the About Me page, uh, my listings. I want that and possibly my feedback. I'll leave the favorites. And I might also include my store if I've got an eBay shop. And I type in my eBay shop name. So I'll put in Etel Bar, which is one of my shops here. And I'll tap in shop name as Etel Bar. And I'm based in the UK. Okay, so I'll apply that. Now let's have a look below to see what I've got. Now you can see here that I've got four buttons. And it's as simple as picking up the code, which is here and dropping that back into my main WYSIWYG editor. So let's just grab it, control C, oops, I'll grab the text, control C, go back to my main editor, which is here. There it is, and I'm gonna stick those buttons just here. And I normally do this by putting a flag in there. I, I put five Ys in, I go to the code view, I move this to the top here, go control F and then type in my Y's to find out exactly where I want to drop that extra code. And I'm going to go here, place it in here, control V, and I've now dropped that code into the main editor. So if I have a look now, you'll see I've got those little four boxes appearing. Now one thing to note, however, is the About Me page. The reason why I need to make note of the About Me page is because eBay have decided to take this feature away from us. So what I've done is create my own About Me page and stuck it on my own server. I'll show you here what I mean. So I click on my own eBay About Me page. You can see here that I've created the page simulating the eBay About Me page, but I've stuck it on my own server address here. And what I've also been able to do using HTML editors is provide a script so that I invite my members to sign up to my newsletter, which increases my subscriber list. And I've also added another few features like my eBay gallery and then further links to other sites such as my Pinterest account here. All very effective ways to encourage my users to buy more products from me in the future. And because I have a main cycling shop, you can see here that I'm sharing great information about Tour de France previous winners, all good stuff. So let's go back now to the About Me page. And you'll see what I do now to do that link from the About Me page using that button. So there's the address of my About Me page. I go Control C to store that into memory. I now want to go back to the original code here, and you can see this is the bit I'm interested in where it says about me. I'm going to go to code view. I'm going to do a search for my about me page. So I'll go control F and then I'll just type in about me. Let's see if I can find it. Let's have a look. About. Let's have a look. There it is. And you can see now that I've got an address, a URL address here. And what I'm going to stick in place of this address, which points to an eBay page, is stick my page in, control V. And now I'm hoping it will link or redirect the user to my About Me page when they click on that button. So there you can see here, About Me, click on that and it will take me now to my own About Me page. So those are the buttons that's done. Let's look at the next feature that we can include in the listing.
Hi, before I show you the next feature, I just want to remind you that these buttons that we talked about earlier can also highlight your listings, your feedback, and also link to your eBay store. All very useful to promote your products. So what next feature can we introduce into this listing? Well, why not introduce tabs? And if I go up to the top here, you can see that I can click on the tabs tops button, which allows me now to produce tabs that can be inverted into the listing. And it's a very easy thing to do. I just type in the description of the tab. So it might be description of the product here. Oops, if I can spell correctly, that might help. Might be payment terms, might be shipping. And then I can also write a brief summary of that particular tab header in this box here. So it might just be the description of the red dress, for example. Might be payment terms here and shipping and so on. If I leave them blank, they will then be excluded from the code. So if I just take that out, and you'll see then at the bottom, I'll get my tabs appearing. And it's exactly the same sort of format as before. I can then select the tabs that I want here. I'll have that one. Because it's a red dress, I'll make them red. And you can see now the preview buttons here. And now if I want to take the code, I just grab the code, which is here. And again, same as before, drop that into my main WYSIWYG editor. So just grab all the code, which is there, which is great. Control C, go back to my main editor. And I want to drop that in, let's just say here. Remember, I can put that flag in. I'll put it in here, YYY. Go to the code, control F to search for YYY. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. And if I drop the code in here, hopefully I'll have success. Let's have a look. And you can see I've now got the code exactly where I want it here. And when that's shown up in the eBay listing, it will appear like the tabs that you saw previously. Okay, so that's another feature done for the listing. Okay, I think we're now ready to try one of the more trickier features that we can include in our listing, and that is to include a photo gallery, which really can make your listing stand out. So you can see here that I've put one in, and if I click on the smaller photographs, they then get displayed on the right-hand side here. Very effective way to make your listing stand out. How did I do this? Well, I'll go up to the top of the screen here, and you can see that I've used a product called ClickPick, and it's a gallery creator. And if you click on this button up here, it will download a small piece of software for your computer, and you can then start creating those galleries. And when you've done that, you'll be presented with a application, and it opens up a bit like what you see now on the screen. And I'm going to select one that I've previously done, in this example, the red dress. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to open up the gallery. And what I have done previously is just downloaded the photographs from my local computer and dropped them into one of these small boxes here. And you can see then that the large photograph is then displayed just as I click on the buttons, the small photographs around the main large photograph. One thing to note is that I've also set up a folder on my own server. And in this example, I've put in HTTP colon forward slash etelbar.com forward slash sexy bar, which is where I've put my photographs. And as I want to now create the code, all I need to do is to firstly compress the images. Then I need to make my HTML code. I can then preview what it looks like in the gallery, and then I can view the code, which is what I really need to do, because I need to get hold of that code and drop it into my main uh, WYSIWYG editor, of course. So I'm going to grab that code. There it is. Let's just try that again. Control C. And one thing that I do need to do is to upload my photographs to that folder. So if I go to upload images to the host, I type in the details of 
my server and the folder, sexy files, and then upload, and that will then upload the images onto that server so they can then be displayed through the eBay listing. So now what I need to do is drop the code that I've stored in computer memory, go back to my main WYSIWYG editor, and I'll drop the code, let's say here. Again, I'll use my flag, YYY. Let's go up to here, control F to find out where I've placed those Ys. Let's have a look. And if I just go enter here, drop the code, I should now see the red dress in the editor version. Let's have a look. And there it is. Works a treat. Whoops. Some of the pictures I've changed, that's why they haven't come up. It's an old piece of code. But you can see what I'm getting at. I can just drop the code in and then store that in my main WYSIWYG editor. And once I've done that, I can then grab all the code, which is here. Again, Control C to grab all the code. That locks it into computer memory. And if I then drop that into my eBay listing, I should then have a neat looking listing for my next product that I wish to sell on eBay. It's as simple as that. I hope this has been helpful. My name's Gareth Kentish, and thanks for your patience in getting this far in this training video. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.